Oh, yo, 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 there's a supply drop over here. All right, just w watch me. I'm about to get this supply drop real quick. Oh, dude, look at the rocket. The rocket looks... Oh, dude, this is the legendary. This is the new rocket. We found it. Oh, my God. Use it right here. No way. Yo. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom you guys. A third upload for today, guys. I can't help it. There is a new rocket launcher in the game, and I actually found it. The second I found it, I had to bring you guys a video. I know a lot of you are looking at the gamer tag, and you're like, blunt blown, what's this? This is actually a subscriber's account. He asked me to help him out, and also my account. I couldn't log in for some reason. There was an error with it. So I ended up using his account for the gameplay, you guys. Check out his channel. It's Pro Kush. Link in the description. But besides that, let's get right into the video. Before we actually get about talk about the RPG and stuff like that guys there's been a massive update and i covered a few of the things including the weapons and characters or the characters and back blinks and stuff like that coming to the game but i didn't cover a few other things so i wanted to bring to you guys a little bit of an updated video for that so that way you guys know all the content that's coming out within the game so you guys are up to date with everything so basically if you guys don't know there's a whole bunch of new skins coming out if you guys didn't see my last video go ahead and check that out but besides that there's also some new dances coming to the game if you guys don't know disco fever uh hootany i don't know how to say the wiggle rock paper scissors and last but not least storm salutation so those are the, some of the new dance moves that are actually coming to the game disco fever is going to be pretty funny it's just a disco dance uh houdini i don't know how to do that one i don't know what that one's going to be about the wiggle looks pretty funny and then rock paper scissors that one's kind of i'm kind of confused on that because if you do rock paper scissors you do rock paper scissors rock or rock paper scissors scissors rock paper scissors paper so if they have one dance emote are you going to be able to pick before you actually do the dance or is it just gonna randomly pick for you i don't know how that one's gonna work yet and then storm salutation i think that one's just a, a funny troll one if you're in the storm or something like that i don't know i feel like that one's gonna be extremely funny you guys so there's some new dances coming to the game and that's not the only thing that they changed if you guys know the easter egg launcher they also changed that up the rocket launch or the grenade launcher is not a grenade launcher no more it shoots easter eggs that's only temporary that's that it's not a permanent fix and a big one is the shotguns you guys a lot of people are talking about this there's no more common pump shotgun there's now a blue pump shotgun within the game and i know a lot of people are like wait a blue pump wasn't the green already op that's true but what they did was they just moved it up the rarity they moved it up they didn't make anything stronger or weaker they made the common shotgun a green and then they made the blue or the green shotgun a blue so that way it's a lot harder to find the blue shotguns because they realized that it was op and people were finding it too easy within the game so they went and changed the rarity on that and they also did this with the tactical shotgun as well we now have a common tactical shotgun which we never had we always had a green and it does suck because I did like seeing the purple shotgun but now we have a blue shotgun as the purple and with that being said guys that's basically everything else that they covered within the game now we do have a new sniper game mode where they took out it's a version 2 so they took out the revolver and they added a crossbow and the hunting rifle instead so it's going to be a lot better but guys without further ado let's cover the rocket if you guys can watch in the gameplay in the background right here I actually find it for the first time and here is my exact reaction to it oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a supply drop over here I right, just w watch me. I'm about to get this supply drop real quick. Oh, dude, look at the rocket. The rocket looks... Oh, dude, this is the legendary. This is the new rocket. We found it. Oh, my God. It's the new rocket here. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Dang, dude. All right, I'm about to use it. You're not going to get this uh, shit bot? All right, thank you. All right, I'm about, to, I'm about to use it. I'm about to use it. Uh, I'm about to use it right here. No way. Yo, this rocket is sick. Dude, you can control it. Literally, you follow it everywhere. It's like a HCXD or RCXD from uh, Call of Duty. You literally control anywhere you want to go. Press R2 to detach. Oh, that sucks. I screwed it up. Dude, try it out, man. This thing is freaking awesome, man. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can use it. 
So there you guys have it. That was my actual first reaction to finding the rocket my first time. Guys, that was insane. Just to find it, I completely forgot that that rocket was added into the game. I was just playing the game. And then I saw it and I was like, wait, why does the rocket look different? I thought that they changed maybe the image of the rocket because they changed the grenade launcher. But then again, it clicked in my head and I was like, oh, this is the new rocket. So guys, it's insane. You guys are going to see me use it a lot. After I found it, I loved using it. It is the most fun weapon to use in the game, guys. I, I cannot lie to you. It's not not the best weapon in the game it's still better to find an rpg if you're trying to go try hard it's still better to find a normal rpg and use that rather than the tracker one because the tracker one's gameplay is a lot slower if kids are good they know how to counter it and rush you with it so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tips and stuff like that because i love giving you guys the best tips that i can so that way it makes you guys a better player but if you do run into this it is an extremely good gun first off i'm gonna tell you guys the stats on it the damage to players the epic version is 105 the legendary version is only 110 so it does not do that much damage it's gonna take two rockets is to kill somebody with full health full shield so make sure if you have this you're just using it to destroy bases because damage to em environmental is a thousand the lifetime is 18 seconds time between shots is 3.13 rocket speed is 1300 units a second and the rocket health is a hundred so this means that the rocket can get shot out of the air you guys are actually going to see in this gameplay in the background somebody on the other team the last team they ended up shooting my rocket out of the air twice man and there's no way the rocket health is a hundred because they shot it with one bullet so so it's instantly dead. So when you're using this rocket, I think the only good time to use it is if somebody is all the way across the map and you're not getting rushed because, again, like I said, the second you shoot the rocket, you cannot control your person or do anything. So if you're shooting this rocket and somebody from another team sees that you have the rocket shot, they're going to know that you're not moving, especially in a solo match if you're using this rocket and they see where you shot this from. Kids are going to rush you as you have the rocket in the air and you're not going to be able to defend yourself at all. So you're going to get rushed and they're going to kill you. So that's why I think this weapon isn't the best weapon in the game. I agree though it is a very fun weapon to use but it is not a good weapon but that's fine because it's always fun to use a weapon in the game and actually play using the weapon rather than trying to go try hard all the time so i definitely love how they added this into the game it's definitely a cool thing that they added and especially in squads or duos it's a viable weapon because if there's a team with a base or something like that and you're trying to get into the base and your team is rushing them all you have to do is shoot a rocket and go from above and go inside the base so anytime people are camping in a base it's going to be extremely easy if you have this to rush them because while your other three teammates are rushing you can go ahead and sit back shoot these rockets to distract them and get them to get scared so that way they're not looking down at your teammates because they're they're more distracted about your rocket so they're going to try and hide but then again you got to look out because these can be shot out of the air so if you're shooting one rocket and there's four kids shooting at it I guarantee you they're going to end up killing your rocket. Now to cover how to defend yourself from this rocket. It's going to be extremely hard. When you hear this thing shot, you're going to hear it flying through the air and it's going to sound like an airplane in real life. If you ever lived in like Las Vegas or you ever traveled to an airport and you hear an airplane flying above you, that's exactly what it sounds like. So the second you hear that, you need to freak out and build four corners walls all around you and then build a roof above you because that is the only way to defend yourself. If you guys watch in the gameplay right here, I'm going after somebody but the second I see him put a roof over him there's nothing I can do about that so I go for his friend that's not covering himself so the best way to defend yourself from this is to trap yourself in a box that's the only line of defense that I've found so far in the game uh, as you guys can see the other team has a rocket too so every time I shot it once I found out that they had this rocket, I told Exotic Bricky, I was like, yo, once I shoot this rocket, I need you to put a roof over me so that way their rocket doesn't kill me. And that was the game plan, basically. So that way, once they shot their rocket, there was no way they can get me because, again, I can't control my character at all. Right here is where I told him. I was like, all right, get ready. I'm about to shoot this rocket. Actually, their rocket's coming right now. I'm defending myself. And then right here, I was like, all right, I'm about to shoot this rocket. Put a wall over me. So he puts a roof over me right here. Their rocket's coming in, so their rocket's not going to hit me at all. But as you can see, I'm heading straight to their person, and he's in the open. I can easily get him, but his teammate has his back. His teammate literally shot my rocket out of the air as I was trying to do it. So this is definitely, when it comes to like a 2v2, and you're in a 1v1 or a 2v2 situation like this at the end of the game, it's a lot of fun. This was probably the most fun I've had playing this game in a while because of this new rocket. And it's just because it's a 2v2, one person's controlling the rocket, the other person's like on defense. He's literally building around both you so that way you don't die by the rocket or he's trying to shoot down the rocket i'm trying to zigzag but he still shoots my rocket down so you know what we decided to switch the game plan up there's no way we're going to be able to do anything we decided to push we're like all right 
this isn't working. Let's just push these kids. And then when we decide to push, that's when things start happening. As you can see, the rocket's coming for me. I decided to put a roof over me. But I want to tell you guys now, in this next clip that you're about to see, it's coming up right here. You're going to see me build a wall all around me, but there's a gap in the floor. And that's what I forgot to cover. And that's why I took so much damage because he aimed it to the floor where the gap was. And it hit the floor in the explosive range from the floor hit me which means i was extremely weak from this it was a crucial moment right now they're shooting constant rockets at us i decided all right this time i'm going to put a floor down and i'm going to heal up bricky's pushing them which is a smart idea because when one guy's shooting the rocket at me he can't control himself at all so while bricky pushes him he's going to end up downing the guy that's controlling the rocket and then he ends up going down he's giving the call out he's like yo john they're picking each other up they're picking each other up come rush him come rush him so this is when i was like all right this is my chance now i'm going to rush them and there they are, easy, easy two-piece right there. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, please can. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.